in the previous video we briefly learned about the dimensional analysis uh, what is dimensions we study and now we're going to talk about the dimensional formula and dimensional equation okay so what should we understand by the dimensional formula hmm. uh, whenever I'm saying or anybody is saying dimensional formula of a physical quantity then it represents an expression you know which shows how and which of the base quantities represent the dimensions of a physical quantity so dimensional formula is an expression which shows how keep that in mind how and which of the base quantities represent dimensions of a physical quantity all right uh, let me clear you uh, let's say uh, as we took the example of speed uh, in the previous uh, uh, lesson that speed uh, is distance over time that means uh, distance means length so length over time you know equals to length uh, is having power 1 and time is having power minus 1 alright and if you associate uh, mass also generally we associate mass length and time while representing the uh, dimension whenever we discuss about the dimension so 0 length 1 and time minus 1 so this expression you know this expression is showing the dimensional formula of speed because this is giving us the answer of how and which all right this is elaborating the how and which uh, see uh, which are the base quantities that is making the speed we can easily get the answer yes length and time these are the two fundamental physical quantities these are the two base quantities which is making our uh, our our derived uh, derived our secondary physical quantities speed and by how much next thing by how much by dimension of one in length and by dimension of minus one in time all right so so this is this is called dimension formula let me write one more dimension formula mm, let's say let's say force dimension formula of force I'm going to write we know that force equals to mass times acceleration you know and further let me write mass uh, because it's a physical fundamental physical quantity but acceleration is not fundamental physical quantity so uh, we need to further uh, go you know acceleration is actually velocity over time and further if you go mass and velocity is again length over time all right length is as it is you know length is as it is time is here but initially one more time was there so time squared so it's mass you know and length and time uh, twice square it is all right so time square so overall if you manage them all then it's going to be m l t minus 2 bracket and mass is having dimension 1 length is having dimension 1 okay now let's discuss about the, the dimensional equation what should we understand by the dimensional equation dimensional equation is a very simple concept you know uh, whenever you're equating a physical quantity let's say you have a physical quantity all right and you're equating with its dimensional expression we are equating with its dimensional expression at that time that equation is called that equation is called yes dimensional equation okay so let's say uh, here you have a speed and you're writing the dimensional formula uh, dimensional yeah dimensional formula of that that's uh, m0 l t minus 1 so this is a equation and this equation is called dimensional equation of speed let me give one more example let's say force all right the dimensional formula of force we recently find out m l1 t minus 2 so force equals to m l t minus 2 this equation is called dimensional equation of force so i hope you understand what is a dimensional formula and dimensional equation if there is any confusion or any doubt then please feel free to comment below this video i'll definitely get back to you and in the next video we're going to learn something more about uh, the dimensional analysis okay and, and later we'll learn about the use of this dimension uh, analysis and the merits demerits and all those stuff all right